And finally, WBIR 10 News reporter Jim Matheny shows us the hard work to keep a piece of history living and turning in the Great Smoky Mountains. In Cades Cove in the Great Smoky Mountains, the scenic loop rolls by the old cable mill. From the time John P. Cable built this grist mill in the 1870s, life in Cades Cove revolved around this area and its big water wheel. They wear out after time. They start to rot and stuff like that. They have to swap them out every seven to ten years, just like changing your tires. Today, you don't have a barn full of spare wheels, and you can't pick one up at the hardware store. But the park does have restoration expert Delane Hodges, and Hodges rebuilt this wheel from scratch. I made many wheels, but not this big. Take the best measurements you can off the old wheel, draw it out on your piece of paper, and then come back and draw it out here to size. It is 10 foot, nine and a half inches in diameter. It took about two weeks to do all the, the figuring and getting all the lumber and how much I needed, all the hardware. And it took two weeks to build it. Now they're not gonna just slap the new wheel on here as soon as they get the old one off. First, they're gonna spend a few weeks doing some work on the channel beneath this old wheel. So the water flows better and doesn't pull up at the bottom because a big dirty puddle underneath makes it hard for the wheel to turn and also wears it out faster than usual. Surprisingly, the wheel that's in there now has lasted 20 years and that's above and beyond, really. They want this wheel to last. Replacements are not cheap. Hodges says this one cost well over $7,000 just for the materials. Yeah, this is white oak and it was milled locally and this is very resistant to uh, water. And the cable mill is one of the only overshot wheels in the park. Overshot meaning the water flows over the top of the wheel. When the time comes for the next pit stop, Hodges also did the work to make sure nobody ever has to reinvent the wheel again. I drew up new blueprints for this wheel because the park never even had any. So the next guy who's ever have to build them, he's got prints to go by. It makes it unique and fun, you know, it's just, it's not run of the mill type stuff. No pun intended. And no details overlooked in this hard work by hand to keep the wheels of history spinning in the Smokies far into the future. I think it's important to keep history. In Cades Cove, Jim Matheny, WBIR 10 News. Mm, it is simply beautiful, it too. Is. A work of art, if you will. The restoration crews say the new water wheel should be up and running at the cable mill by early September. And we're going to check in with Todd one last.